today. I'm Jojo. I'm a traveler, photographer, and self-proclaimed YouTuber. I film videos about photography tips, travel tips, and blogging tips. And today I'm in the beautiful island of Guam. So for today's video, I'm going to teach you how to shoot half underwater and half air pictures or split underwater, split air pictures. So how this works is that you have your GoPro and you have your GoPro dome mount. So it's easier to achieve the half underwater look if the distance of the water to the lens is further. If it's flushed against the GoPro, like you can see how small that space is, it's going to be really difficult, especially if it's wavy. Today I'm making sure I film in a calm day, you can see how calm the water is, and then I'll do a demo on how I shoot. Alrighty, switching the voice over. Tip number one, if you want a clean line of water across the photo, it's best to shoot when the water is calm because it's hard to shoot when the water is wavy and rough or it'll keep moving up the dome. Tip number two, these types of photos look best when you shoot on a clear day, not just to have the blue in the sky, but because on rainy or windy days, the water tends to be turbulent, causing the sand to move, which will make the water look cloudy and murky. So whatever you shoot underwater won't be as visible. As you start taking photos in the water, you're going to notice water droplets on the dome and it could get in the way of your shot. So number three is editing it out later, bringing a towel to wipe it up, although that would be very hard to do if you're in the middle of the ocean, or keeping it on because it's a good natural look too. And if you can see, there are scratches on my dome, so tip number four is avoid scratching the dome or it'll show. I thought I took care of the dome properly, but apparently it wasn't enough. But nothing a little editing can remove later. And number five, depending on the conditions, the water can keep moving, so it's best to shoot in time-lapse mode so you can get a good shot as the water moves. And you don't have to keep looking back and forth between photos. This is also great if you want to capture multiple photos of a friend swimming across the screen. So those were my tips for shooting split underwater photos. And if you have any questions or more tips to share, comment them down below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and all that good stuff so you don't miss out on guides and tips about travel. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys at the next video. I love you. Mwah.